Okay, so someone asked me to explain something like past this, the first chapter. I don't really know how to do that. It's, I read it like a few weeks ago, but I kind of forget things really fast. So, yeah. But basically what happens is she gets the alien put in her head. And so then it's like the alien, right? And then the... The girl that's resisting, Melanie, she's like fighting against the wanderer who's the alien in her head. And she's like, she'll like send her like onslaughts of memories that are like really painful. And so she's like throwing them at her. So eventually the alien kind of falls in love with the guy that she's in love with and loves her brother as well. And she gets really frustrated with her alien seeker person who's like trying to follow her or whatever. And she um she goes off to go find her family. And so then she gets her family is staying in like some caves and stuff, but she goes off to find them and eventually, you know, I don't wanna tell you everything because that'd be like total spoiler lane, but yeah, anyway, she like goes off and tries to find her family and she's like struggling with like being in love with one guy and the other guy and her brother and all these people and then at the same time she's like scared for her life and she really hates the seeker who's the alien that's like follow watching over her, following her kind of. So she's really irritating. And she's like protecting all of her secrets, and then she's still got the girl in her head as well. And so they like become kind of like really close, like almost like best friends. It, yeah, it gets really intense afterwards, but it's really good. So, yeah. Anyways, you should read it. Yeah, I would say buy it if, yeah, but hey, Troy.